What's up guys, this is Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by Vapor, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through how to set up and use your crown tank from UL. All right, so here's the box the crown from UL comes in. So inside the box we have the crown tank itself, replacement glass, a .5 ohm dual coil, stainless steel, a .15 Ni200 nickel coil for temperature control, and pre-installed in the tank is a .25 ohm stainless steel coil. And underneath the box we have a bag of O-rings of various sizes, a little tip sheet for how to fill the device, this is a top and a bottom fill, and a diagram showing all the parts of the crown tank. So here is the crown tank. Measures 24 millimeters in diameter, 74 millimeters in height. It is stainless steel and the glass is quartz. The 510 pin is not spring loaded and the airflow ring is not free spinning, so it will click into place. So it's kind of free spinning when it's completely closed, but as soon as you get to one of those airflow holes, it clicks, click, click, click. All right, let's go ahead and check out this atomizer. All right, so here is the dual 0.25 ohm coil, and all of these coils, they're using 100% Japanese organic cotton, and the wire is SUS 316 food grade stainless steel. And as you can see, this is a dual vertical coil. You see the two wires in there touching. So the 0.25 ohm coil is definitely for you cloud chasers out there. This coil can handle easily up to 80 watts. You could probably push it a little further, but this is gonna produce some massive clouds. Another coil that the crown comes with is the dual 0.5 ohm, and all the same specs, it is also a dual coil, but this is gonna be twice the resistance of the 0.25. So a little bit cooler of a vape, you're gonna be pushing this around 30 watts. I'm able to get around 45 to 50, um, but that's gonna kind of run the life of this coil a little more. 30 watts is about right with the 0.5 ohm. And last but not least, the crown comes with a NI200 0.15 ohm nickel coil, and this coil is for temperature control. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the 0.25 back into the base of the crown. Now there's two ways you can fill the crown tank from UL. You can either take off the base with the atomizer, put this on an angle, and fill it up down the side, or you can utilize its top fill feature. So with the top fill, all you do is unscrew the top here, and there you go. You just fill it up in one of those four slots. And this tank does hold four milliliters of e-liquid. And then when you're done, screw back on the top, and you're ready to vape. And lastly, the drip tip that comes with this device, extremely snug. It's got two good-sized O-rings there on the bottom. And something I've never seen before, the drip tip kind of bevels here at the bottom. So some of your other drip tips will kind of look a little strange. You'll have a little bit of a gap in between this top plate and the edge of your drip tip. But the standard drip tip looks nice, and it fits extremely secure. So that's how you set up the crown tank from UL. Along with the 0.25 ohm, the 0.5 ohm, and the 0.15 ohm nickel coils, there's also an RBA for the crown. So let me go ahead and show you how to build on the crown's RBA. You can think of this RBA a lot like the Kanger Subtank RBA. You're just going to lay the leads underneath the heads of these screws and just tighten them down. Now, unlike most RBAs, there's usually threading on the bottom of this top cap to thread onto the base of the RBA, but this one doesn't. There's these little cutouts on either side, and these little grooves fit right into those, just like that. So let's go ahead and grab our wire and our tools and get building. For this build, I'm gonna be using 24 gauge Nichrome 80 wire. I would use Canthal wire, and I would recommend Canthal wire. In most tanks, I prefer Canthal because it doesn't get as hot as quickly, where Nichrome ramps up pretty fast. So I'm gonna to wanna to do as many wraps as I can with this Nichrome to avoid that dry hit. So once you've cut about six to seven inches of your 24 gauge, we're gonna go ahead and grab our bit, and I chose today to do it around a three millimeter bit, and that's just because it fits so nicely in the center of that RBA. So choose your bit size based on the kind of deck you have to work with. Three millimeters looks perfect here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do eight wraps, which should come out to about 0.2 ohms with this 24 gauge nichrome. Now I do have a little bit of a gap there, but I should be able to squeeze that up once I get it on the RVA. And on decks like this, where you need both leads going off in opposite directions, you wanna make sure you pull one of your leads up so that it sits like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim both sides. We're gonna unscrew these posts a little bit so we have room under the screw heads right there. And once I have one lead in, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that post so that lead is nice and secure. And then by hand, I'm gonna pop that other lead into the other post and tighten that one down. All right, so we got our coil centered up. Go ahead and make sure it's centered this direction. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and trim these leads as close as I can to those screw heads. And if you can't get this lead on either side trimmed flush with the screw, what's going to happen is your top cap is not going to want to fit on. So to solve that issue, what you want to do is unscrew this post a little bit, pull back the lead until it's just under the head of the screw, and do the same thing to the other side. Now as you can see, it did kind of make our coil a little wonky, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop back in that three millimeter bit and just kind of tweak that up a little bit, try and get that, that twist out of the coil. And there we go, that looks pretty good. And now my leads are not quite as far out, so let's see if the top cap fits. And that she does. Now what we want to do is pop this RVA onto the base of the crown, put it on our device, and dry fire it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this top cap off so we can access that coil. So now that i got the base of my crown and our RVA with our built coil, I'm going to go ahead and screw that down. I'm going to pop it on this Freak Show Tiny from Wodafoe that I will have a review and tutorial on soon. And our coil is coming in right at 0.2 ohms, right what we were looking for. Just have it on 50 watts so I can tweak up this coil. Just kind of pulse it a little bit. Got a bit of a hot spot down there, so I'm gonna give it a squeeze. That coil is looking really good. Glowing from the center out, perfect. So now all we need to do is let this coil cool and then we're going to unscrew the RBA from the base. We're going to wick it and put the top cap back on the RBA and we'll be ready to go. So I'm going to be using the Japanese Shishido 100% organic cotton today. And I like to just taper one side so it's a little easier to feed through our coil. And then I peel off the front and back just so we have nice consistent cotton in the center of that coil. All right, so when you trim this cotton, you want it to lay right on the top edge of this base next to our coil. Trim about that much, check it, and that looks perfect, just laying right there at the top. So I'm gonna trim the same amount on the other side. And now let's check our top cap. And as you can see, we have too much cotton here. So what I'm gonna do is just press this down so I kinda get a guideline, pull it off, and I'm gonna trim that extra cotton. And that's perfect. And on either side, you should see cotton on your windows. So this side's a little loose. So let's try and get some more cotton down on that side. There we go, that looks better. Now all you gotta do is prime your cotton, just put a little juice right on your coil itself, and you are ready to go. So that's how you build in the Crown's RBA. So that's the Crown Tank from UWell. If you guys are interested in seeing my review on this product, just click on this link. Otherwise, this has been Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. Have a great day, guys.